Hello everyone, and welcome to Post Commentary! When I was recording, some things happened, and then I couldn't, uh... There is no sound on this. Great. Well, I'm going to have to imagine the sounds. Speaking of imagining sounds, I had this one song from Bravely Default stuck in my head the entire freaking day. It's an awesome song, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's it, it was legitimately hard to focus at some points. Um, so yeah, uh, while I was recording this, some people came over and uh, just to be polite, I decided not to talk for two hours while they were over, and um, that's what I'm doing post-commentary right now. So yeah. Uh, so here we just, uh, just one check around the, um, the desert area before we head back to the Bean Bean Castle for the next plot point. So yeah, there's some chuckle beans. Some more chuckle beans. Some blocks. with some coins in them. It feels like forever since I, uh, did post-commentary. Out of touch, yet again. So, um, I was looking on Steam Greenlight recently. That's, it's an interesting place if you've never been. Uh, it has... It basically lays out a whole bunch of concepts developers have come up with. And basically, throughout, um, they display the concept, and it's like, uh, here's our idea for the game, we're trying to develop it, we'd like it on Steam. And, um, I don't know why this, uh, one chuckle bean spot was never gotten. I swear to God, I've passed over by this so many times. And so then you have the option of, uh, so, uh, Steam, it's... A really interesting system they set up there. Um, from a business standpoint, uh, it's quite literally they ask uh, those voting on it, like, okay, from what you've seen, will you buy this? And you have yes, no, slash not interested, slash uh, ask me again later. Also, uh, Mega Death Rain. The skies are raining destruction! Is the end of everything! Everything. The town will be destroyed! We gotta take refuge! You should go too! So yes, the town is being destroyed again. And we have to go see what's wrong again. And Smoking Crater again. So yes. Death, destruction, and mayhem. Also closed doors. So we're off to Bean Bean Castle to figure out what's the dibbly doodad day has got. What the heck was that? What am I even on? <laughs> so yeah, I was on Steam Greenlight, and um, they have a wide range of things from meh to okay to like diamond in the rough to hidden gem. Oh Mario Bros. is most ever hour the end of the Bean Bean Kingdom may be at hand Bowser's castle has unleashed an assault on the Bean Bean Kingdom from the skies overhead. Their economy is really good, but their technology isn't as good as Bowser. That's just This is Bowlet is doing. We're utterly defenseless against an attack from the sky we have safely evacuated Princess Peach and the others to Little Fungi Town. Hmm, at least Princess Peach is safe. There's some that's something. But if we don't do something about Bowser's Castle, our poor kingdom may not survive. Yeah, what's that now? You know something that about Bowser's Castle? You say you know how to get from Bowser's room to the bathroom? What an odd thing to say. Oh I get it! You're saying the Mario Bros know the Bowser's Castle's like the back of their hands! I, for one, feel very reassured knowing that the Mario Bros are going up to that horrible castle. <laughs> Luigi freaks out. No, oh shit. Our kingdom's pro- oh sh- darn. 
Well, this certainly may be true. Farewell! Oh, Prince Paisley, whatever are you doing? You mustn't go to Bowser's Castle all alone. Your Highness, can we not think of a countermeasure ourselves? Of course, let us do just that. Cowering will get us nowhere. Cowering here will get us nowhere. Oh, this is just a thought, but isn't there someone who can fly anywhere in our kingdom? If I were younger, I would cling to his legs and chase after the prince myself! But... But just sitting here talk... Uh, I eggs out of that. So we do, in fact, know someone within the Bean Bean Kingdom who can fly. Not only that, he, um... Or she... Depending... Is, uh, already acquainted with us. But back to Steam Greenlight, so there's anything from... Meh, to okay, to diamonds in the rough, to quite literally shit. <laughs> I, I literally saw a, um, a title that was just like zombie poop in space, and I'm like, who the, how the fuck did that even get on there? I swear to God, if that gets greenlit, all the whole, the whole system is dead. There's too many stupid people on Steam to have that system work. Which reminds me of a discussion I actually had this uh, fine day. <laughs> I had to think about that for a moment. Uh, we were talking about the merits of Steam Greenlight and uh, early access games. Um, so of course the person I was arguing with was an annoying person who never shuts up and never really listens to what you are saying, but uh, I sort of reinforced the point that, you know, it's a, g it's a good idea, like the green light system is a very good idea from the perspective of Steam. They want to make money, so any product they license should have a fan base. So they're like, hey, we're thinking about this. Will you buy it? And the answer is yes. They sell it. It's good, but it doesn't necessarily promise quality games, and depending on what game you're voting for, you may not actually get what you think you're getting. Uh, that's really up to you to just, like, go in depth to find out, like, what's been done on the game so far. And then, uh, the dude's, uh, quip about, um, what was it, uh, early access was that, uh, some developers could use it to get money on an unfinished game and then never finish their game. Uh, again, it was sort of a matter of, yeah, well, anything can go wrong with any system. Why are you picking this one in particular? But it was also, um... What am I thinking? Um... It was also, like, a thing that, like, early access is not, um... for players, it's for developers. It's a, uh, a system that, uh, and, like, tool that aids them in making their game and being able to make their game if they're running into money problems. Uh, so... Here I'm just taking a, a shortcut through, um... <laughs> I love that part. Um, taking a shortcut through the uh, Stardust Fields to get back to, uh... the Hoo Hoo Mountain, so we can, uh, ride, uh... Uh, the pterodactyl. I forget his name. But yeah, that's the person who we know that can fly that uh, will help us get to Bowser's Castle. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the main feature of the uh, pterodactyl. Like, who would actually want to go back to the summit? But anyways, um... So yeah, like, it's... Uh, the early access thing is a very... 
good system for like a developer just to get some extra capital and to get like some early feed that will use. Stop going to screensaver, god darn it. Well, at least that now that uh, clues me in on how much time there's been because I've set that to five minutes. Um, what was I saying? Do I say um too much when I'm post recording? I don't know. Just leave a comment. Leave any comment. Like seriously, comments galore. I I want your comments. I'm commentating on my comment commentary. <laughs> Commentation! That's exactly what I'm doing! Oh, and here, so... Yeah, I've sort of just been rambling on top of... Oh, Great Bella, the Mario Bros, whom I hate, are coming this way! Bah, no matter, they'll never make it here! Koopalings, your time has come! I love how the Koopalings don't question the fact that their dad is now a woman. With... Umbria, pink Umbreon ears. And we are immediately sniped in the head! Look at the guns on those guys! Yeah, so, new area, so we immediately take all the damage! This bowling ball move is freaking undodgeable! I am not even kidding! You, you jump right as it's about to touch your foot, and then it hits you on the way down. It's, it's too slow. It, it does not work. Undodgeable. Son of a bitch. Okay, Luigi can dodge it. Mario can't. And Luigi only sometimes. Anyways. So yeah, uh, great example of a early access game was Minecraft, you know. That was released, you know, in early alpha stages. And d don't think I'm a designer and know what the hell alpha, beta, and whatever would be after beta uh, means. But, like, that was released early alpha, and, like, they're still updating it. And, you know, it's been through quite a lot of, like, really big changes. God darn it, Luigi. And uh, this is where I die, because there's, uh, when you're carrying your brother, there's a delay on the, uh, jump. Which is why I always get the brothers up. That, like, small delay can be your downfall. Like, seriously. So here we have some nuts. So, uh, we can heal up. I feel like making a, uh, is it a good idea to microwave this reference? Because nobody likes roasted nuts. Yeah, so, uh, the thing about the gunner guys is I didn't quite realize this until, uh, much later, is, uh, when the shy guy behind them jumps, it's the bullets, and when he just taps them on the back, it's the, uh, whatchacallit, bowling ball. Uh, the Hammer Bros, uh, you see them in action. It's fairly easy to time. Uh, it's... Yeah, that's essentially it. They just throw hammers. There's no real variation in them. Oh, uh, yeah, this is where I die, because... This is, this is literally where I'm going, No! There's nothing I can do! So yeah, game over. Or as I should say, game game over over. Speaking of bravely defaults, um, this is about like the second, uh, second out of like three times I actually see that because I think I can make it through. Love how that one just rolls over. So yeah, this this time we're feeling. As in, I hopefully don't die miserably. Don't worry, I do manage to get some way through this. Oh, it's some something's going wrong with the recording. 